Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about a famous poem, Muse de Beauvoirs. You can also call it Museum of Fine Arts. It is written by W. H. Auden. To have a clear understanding of any literary work, you must know about the background. So let's move on to the background. In 1938, the poet Auden visited Museum of Fine Arts in Brussels. which is the capital of belgium in that museum he saw peter bruegel's painting peter bruegel was a brilliant painter of classical age by his paintings he always exhibited his great artistry along with a moral message the poet auden was very much impressed and amazed by the inner message of those paintings which is the main source of this poem Okay now I am reading the poem and analyzing it about suffering they were never wrong the old masters how well they understood its human position how it takes place while someone else is eating or opening a window or just walking dully along the first stanza tells that the classical painters never misunderstood human sufferings in their paintings they have always portrayed the realities of human misfortune human beings are div- indifferent to individual sorrows they don't care about suffering of others the classical painters have depicted it brilliantly when they had painted what caused one's misfortune and also they had exhibited that human beings had struck to their routine activities with full indifference to an individual's misfortunes Here poet wants to say that one's day to day activities are not affected by misfortune of another this stands as stresses the selfish nature of man which the poet criticizes second stanza how when the aged are reverently passionately waiting for the miraculous birth there always must be children who didn't specially want it to happen skating on a pond at the age of the wood so the children are not interested in religion and they never think of christ they continue to play unconcerned even in the midst of such a great tragedy as the crucifixion of christ those who are devout and pious care for christ but humanity as a whole is not much interested either in the birth of christ or his crucifixion odin here condemns people's lack of faith in religion and but those who are aged are most devout and religious minded and this is the indicative faith in religion that governed people in the past but unfortunately the modern society is almost devoid of faith in religion third sense they never forgot that even the dreadful martyrdom must run its course anyhow in a corner some untidy spot where the dogs go on with their doggy life and the torturous horse scratches its innocent behind on a tree this stanza is based on bruegel's picture or painting the massacre of the innocents the poet wants to tell the readers in this stanza is that the classical painters have not forgot the crucifixion of christ which was a great tragedy such a great tragedy is taken as a matter of course of a criminal this great tragedy does not move them much or doesn't cause them much concern christ is crucified and crucifier's horse goes on rubbing his behind against a tree the horse was totally unconcerned with the great tragedy however in the actual painting horse is not actually shown rubbing its backside against a tree now let's move on to the fourth stanza which is the most important stanza in the poem in bruegel's icarus for instance how everything turned away quite leisurely from the disaster the plowman may have heard the splash the fourth second cry but for him it was not important failure the sun shone as it had to on the white legs disappearing into the green water the expensive delicate ship 
that must have seen something amazing a boy falling out of the sky had somewhere to get to and sailed calmly on third stanza is a description of bruges painting fall of icarus before speaking about this stanza you must know the story of icarus so icarus is a character of greek mythology he was the son of daedalus icarus and his father were imprisoned in a in an island called crete to escape the imprisonment his father made wings out of wax he also warned icarus please don't fly high and please don't go near the sun but while flying icarus disobeyed his father because of his high ambition of flying high he flew too near the sun as a result his wings of wax got melted icarus fell into the sea and he was drowned and eventually died the poet wants to say that when one is in danger people don't show any interest or make any effort to help him so that one may get rid of it to make this point clear the poet alludes to this episode of icarus downfall the painting of uh, fall of icarus shows icarus's icarus has fallen into the green sea then there is a farmer on the land who must have heard the great splash of water he might have turned his head to see what's the matter but he remained undisturbed he didn't even try to help icarus and also this great disaster is um, observed by the crew of a ship at sea they are much amazed to see a boy who has fallen into the sea his two legs are visible but did they try to save him no they also didn't care about icarus they didn't try to save him this amazement is their only response the ship continued to sail unconcerned so we can clearly see that humanity remains undisturbed and unmoved by individual suffering so the moral of the poem is no one really cares for others the only one who will understand your pain and suffering is you if you got into any dangerous situation you will find many people who won't help you to get out of that situation even if they can they are just ignorant to whatever happens to you